<sighs> Alright, so I should probably explain what the hell I'm doing out here. Basically, if you realize the fact that I packed a, what seemed to be soup bowl, uh, I'm going to be taking photos. Specifically, I want to use that soup bowl, or what is more commonly known in the World War I history community as a British World War I helmet. I plan to take a photo of it somewhere here, or use it as a prop of sorts. I also have my Polaroid, because at the top or end of this hike, there is a pretty good landscape that I can do with it, so that's my goal. says that it's 54 out, <laughs> but it does not feel like that. It feels more of a long, so maybe, I want to say 59, but maybe that's also because I'm wearing a coat and looking around this backpack. Carrying on. I am pretty glad that I didn't do this yesterday or on the four days previous because it was 70. I feel like if I had done that on those days, well, I probably would have boiled and died. Uh, not good. This isn't that bad of a landscape. I have three shots I forgot to refill. Huh. Oh, if you're wondering what camera I'm using, it's just a Polaroid 600. Film's a bit messed up. We'll wait. I don't know which would be worse to damage, the Polaroid or the World War One helmet. Also, if you're wondering, yes, it is genuine. And yes, for all of you history buffs out there, I am using packing to protect the inside, which is the original. Put that in there. Don't let it dry off. Carrying on. Greatest part about this is that I'm probably not going to run into anybody. Uh -oh. And my staff's coming undone. Small ant hills already all over the place. Definitely spring. I've 
gone this path plenty of times before, I'm afraid that I'll get lost at this one place that always confuses me. Nothing's too in the bloom either. Though it is quite early spring over here. It being only April, usually there's snow that lasts until May. through a bit, isn't it? Normal. Yep. This here isn't that bad, with the fallen tree in the gate. And also how you can actually see something. That's really kind of good. have to repair this later. Secondary path here. Old alpaca farm. Packer or lava? Jeez, what is? If it was a woodpecker, it would have been a lot more, so I'm guessing not. I have an idea of where I want to do the shoot with the helmet. So it's a bit further up. Oh, by the way, yeah, this isn't like state land, it's a private place. I just let you walk here. Damn it. So the greatest and worst thing just happened. The worst, because my harness came undone for actually filming this, but the greatest, because I didn't even realize that there's barbed wire here. So if I put the fel uh, helmet on that right there, that pole, the barbed wire, that could be really good. So I'll definitely be remembering this spot for when I walk back later. Because it also doesn't look too bad. I mean, it doesn't look like France, but you get what you get. So the top, just a little ways out, not too long. Keeps falling apart. It's annoying.
I mean, it's by no means the longest hike in the world. From all the way down there, you can see the old church. <laughs> or hell, even the real church right there. So again, not very long, but it's really quite nice. It's a short one. Worst knot of all time, but it'll work. No film came out. It still has one shot, it says. Uh, that's a bad sign. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That's so weird. It flat out refused give the photos. Hmm. And the photos aren't even in here. Cartridge is dead. There's nothing on the guts on the inside. And I definitely did not use all ten shots. Had three left. I was able to get one. Strange. Well, I'm gonna rest here for a little bit, just a little bit, and then we'll get on our hike on the way back down. And hopefully, get that shot with the helmet. Okay, so my phone's at 7% right now, so I'm sadly not gonna be able to film the rest of the hike down. So I'm gonna take the photo, uh, and just, I guess, once I finish filming, I'll just talk then. So, yeah, I mean, it's to be expected. It's an iPhone success, not an iPhone 12. If I had an iPhone 12, yeah, it would have lasted probably the whole time. I think it lasts like five hours. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Talk to you guys when I get back. See you. So I'm back home. Uh, or back in my studio at least, which is just my closet. I, for the most part, have it finished. Like, uh, here, let me show you. So, like, just memory foam, lights, sorry, I gotta blind you guys, you know. So yeah, just a bunch of memory foam, table, lights, tripod, microphone. <laughs> so yeah, I'm back. Uh, I did get the photos. Here they are. They're not the greatest because I forgot a few things. I A forgot to tap to focus. I think I was just like <laughs> I'm will say I was a bit exhausted, like from the hike. 
so my brain's a bit dizzy and whatnot. Well, not dizzy, but like not focusing too well. So I forgot tap to shoot. That definitely messed it up. Uh, I was also scanning in a few shots and also my placement of taking the photos I don't think wasn't the greatest. I could have done better. I might go back and actually try the shot again just because I just kind of want to do it a bit better. But yeah, so that was this. You will probably realize that this isn't a review and I'm going to start to move away from it. I do intend to do reviews stuff like on occasion here and there. But maybe I think I'm going to start focusing on more camera related stuff. Just doing videos like this or maybe going through the history or reviewing uh, a camera. Like maybe I'll do a review on the Polaroid 600. That would be kind of fun. I like it, so why not? Which is why now my YouTube channel is called Kid with a Camera. Because I'm just the kid with the camera. Well, a few cameras, I guess, but... So yeah, I hope to start doing more camera related stuff, like here. Like this is my dad's Olympus OM-1 camera. Like, I mean, this thing's incredible. Just look at it. So I hope to, you know, be able to get some film and I'm also working to find a dark room I think I know a place where there is one and I just have to ask if like if I can use it and also you know kind of learn how to use it I've never worked with old film it's not a thing anymore it's the reason like I use my phone to take these photos but looking back through the footage I've also seen that it's not the greatest again I'm sorry it's all shot from iPhone success an iPhone 12, Raisins.